Kate here from the Emerald Minecart and D&D, specifically the dice. Now, if you're probably thinking two things. One, do I have a fetish for dice? And two, what is D&D? Well, to answer your questions, one, no, I don't have a fetish for dice. And two, how, I, I'm not even going to ask how you don't know about D&D, but for those people who somehow don't know about D&D, allow me to explain. <clears throat> Dungeons & Dragons, commonly abbreviated as D&D, or D&D, is a fantasy tabletop role-playing game, aka an RPG, originally designed by Gary... Gygax, which is a really interesting last name, and David Arneson, which is very close to coming to Arson. Uh, the game was first published in 1974 by Tactical Studies Rules, Inc., also known as TSR, and it has been published by Wizards of the Coast, which is a now part of Hasbro since 1997. So yeah, now that we know what D&D is, I should also bring up the, uh, controversy. So, uh, so I'm also going to have to explain another thing that has been, that happened in the 1980s. This is a little event known as the Satanic Panic. Basically, certain religious groups would accuse certain things of being Satanic. One of the examples being rock music. Obviously, it was more than rock and heavy metal music, not metal, but metal, but the another thing that was accused of being satanic was Dungeons & Dragons. To explain, at various times in its history, Dungeons & Dragons has received negative publicity for alleged or perceived promotion of such practices as Satanism, witchcraft, suicide, pornography, and murder. Especially during the 1980s, certain religious groups accused the game of encouraging sorcery and the veneration of demons. Now, D&D does not have real magic in it. D&D is just a group of people having fun. All D&D is, is a group roleplay. That's all D&D is. It's not something that uses magic. It's not something for Satanists. No, 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 no. D&D is literally just a tabletop roleplay game that is played by a bunch of people. In short, D&D is just for fun. That's all. But obviously, you know, this isn't the first time when, uh, religious groups and uh, old farts saw something as... That this, what I'm trying to say is this isn't the first time that these type of people try to make a big deal out of something that honestly is not a big deal in the first place. Trust me, stuff like this has happened a lot. And also I should quickly mention another controversy where basically Hasbro tried to screw over Dungeon... Dungeons and Dragons creators by trying to take more of their money and doing a bunch of other stuff with this leaked document. And obviously, like most corporations, they backpedaled on it, which, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Hasbro tried to reintroduce it in a different way, but, you know, I hope they don't, because, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it later. But, uh, yeah, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the dice, shall we? Okay, so you're probably curious what role the dice play in D&D. Well, the dice in D&D, they basically play a role in, in the things of how much damage an attack does, if an action happens or not. It basically decides whether this will happen or whether that will happen. And, obviously, people will get bored of the standard white blocky dice with the black dots. So, obviously, there's, there's companies that will make different colored dices, 
But if you decide to go further, you will see that there are people who actually make custom dice. And one of the places where you can get a bunch of custom dice is Etsy. Honestly, this should not be a surprise, but yeah, you can find a good amount of custom dice on Etsy. And this is where, like, the whole art thing of the dice of D&D come in. Because obviously, like, someone had to, like, sync of the design and they had to either draw or sketch it out and then bring that design to life. And as you can see, yeah, you can tell that a lot of... A lot of decisions were made of how these designs would go. And I'll, okay, so obviously you have like you have ones that are sort of basic, like like there are some where like the the font for the numbers is changed, or they have like a like they have a item in it or something. But then you have ones that just look amazing and are fantastic and. To be honest, sometimes funny, like this, like th th this is amazing. Honestly, I feel like this dice right here would probably ruin some friendships, but honestly, it's funny. But then you also have metal dice, which obviously your dice is, but metal, and they look nice. They look amazing. Like they actually look like they have magic. To them or something like they just look so cool and also you know you have metal ones that are also hollow which also look great but yeah honestly i really do like the look of most custom dice dices like especially since again like you can tell like someone sat down sort of a custom dice idea that looked cool they either drew up or sketch a sketch the design then they created the dice like it's it's just it's just really cool. It's really it's really cool to see what some custom dice will look like. And obviously the ones I've shown, these are my favorite. I really, really do like these dices that like seem to have like a ball of liquid and sparkles in it. Those oh my god those look amazing. I I, I love them. And also, as you can tell Something I should have mentioned earlier, but the dice of D&D &D happen to be shaped in more than just cubes. Like, we have triangles, we have pyramids, which are the same thing, we have different types of shapes, we have, like, almost circles, we have motherfucking dodecahedrons. Like, I haven't heard that type of shape in a long-ass time. And honestly, the only place you're going to hear that shape, besides a really advanced math class, is Dungeons and Dragons. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, honestly, all these dice, especially the custom ones, they take art, because again, like I mentioned, someone sat down, they drew or sketched up a design, and then they went to work to create a very epic dice, because again, like, how could you look me, like, seriously, look me in the eye and tell me that these aren't cool, because honestly, these are cool. Actually, they're more than cool, they're amazing. I honestly love these things, and honestly, you know, I have some personal favorites, but, you know, they look great. They look amazing. So, yeah, that was a short, I don't think short, but it was a shortest, it was a shortish video about the dice of Dungeons and Dragons and the art behind it. Now, before I go into my announcement, obviously I'm going to have a link in the description below that will take you to the Etsy search if you want to actually buy any of these dice, which, you know, I would highly recommend doing that. Because again, you are supporting smaller creators and stuff, or independent creators. But also, now we get to the announcement. So, this won't ha okay, obviously this won't happen for a good while. But I actually do plan on doing my own Dungeons & Dragons campaign, and it will take place in the Tesserian Productions Multiverse. Which you're probably thinking, wait, Tesserian Productions Multiverse? 
Well, obviously, if you know, my YouTube channel happens to have lore. And over time, I'm, I've am i been expanding that lore. And I will continue to expand that lore into multiple different types of medias. Series, possible shows, games even. May, maybe even like some books. Or maybe even like in a movie or something. I'd love to do that. But yeah, I plan on doing like a D&D &D campaign that will take place in the t Productions multiverse. Now, obviously, I don't have anything planned for it. The only thing I do have planned for it, that it will happen eventually. Obviously, it's not going to happen now, but I just thought, hey, I'd at least make people aware that I plan on making a D&D project eventually. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, what are your thoughts on D&D? And what are your thoughts on the custom dice scene? Do you find them awesome, or would you just rather stick to the bland dice that you already have? So, Anyways, that was it for this video. Make sure you all subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, home guards, and goodbye!